And I'm Matt Harris. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Here's our top story. Wednesday, the Catholic Church selected its new leader, Pope Francis. He spent the first day as Pope, like any employee does, rolling his eyes during a session on sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> the bartender who shot the Mitt Romney 47% video says he was inspired by Bill Clinton because both men are known for shooting something discreetly under a table. <laughs> judge has overturned New York City's ban on large sugary drinks. It's a good day for democracy, comments in type 2 diabetes. <laughs> a California state lawmaker proposed legislation that would allow bars to be open until 4 a.m. The law was suggested by State Senator Amanda Bynes. <laughs> Tuesday, an Ohio man was convicted for murdering three men who answered his Craigslist ad to work on a farm. Commented the man. I mean, in my defense, the ad was posted under men seeking men. <laughs> to murder. <laughs> An eight-year-old boy in South Africa has married a 61-year-old woman. If you want to get them a gift, they are registered at Bed Bath & Beyond Repulsive. <laughs> Test, Michael Vick is canceling a tour to promote his new book. Vick said he really regrets writing a book called The Idiot's Guide to Drowning Pit Bulls. <laughs> On Friday, Lil Wayne denied a news story that he was in critical condition following a seizure. Explained Lil Wayne. <laughs>
Stroud is gonna be good. <laughs> and probably Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> I'm including Tarantino. <laughs> Two movie studios are competing to be the first to make a film about Lance Armstrong. <laughs> Any actor in Hollywood would give his right nut for that film. Making <laughs> 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 fun of a cancer survivor. <laughs> Classy stuff, Matt. Classy. I didn't know you get so testy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 